The uh, groundbreaking for a new boat launch in Orange Beach last week brought up a sore subject for a lot of boaters around Baldwin County. Boat launches that are still closed because of last year's hurricane damage. Debbie Williams is live at the Lillian boat launch tonight. That was torn up by Sally last September, but Debbie, tonight, I understand you have some good news. Yeah, we do, Pete. Just this afternoon, we got word that repairs to the Lillian boat launch will begin Monday. And for folks around here, that's something they say needed to happen a lot quicker. To say launching a boat in Lillian and then getting on said boat is a challenge would be an understatement. It's more like an exercise in balance, patience, and luck. This launch since Sally has been um, kind of a mess. Whole sections of piers, docks, and boardwalks are gone. With those piers being gone, there's no way that you can pull a boat around there and walk out there and your family or whatever get on the boat. It's dangerous because people are climbing over the broken um, broken wood with the nails, but you don't have a choice. Contracts for repairs have been ready for a while, but like most everything else, getting the materials was the holdup. This is uh, marine grade lumber, so I can only imagine how difficult that is to get. Not only that, but the price of it too. The one thing that seems to have improved around what is left of the pier. Not this redfish, just a couple, a little bit ago. Is the fishing. But Marty Northhouse would much rather it be the way it was before the storm. I'm out here every day you know, with the dog, and I hate it that it's torn down this long. The balancing act that comes with launching or getting on a boat is coming to an end. Repairs to the Lillian boat launch are set to begin next week. And there is a lot of work to be done out here at the boat launch, but they only won't be just doing the repairs here. They will also be working on the park in Josephine at the water access there as well. Live on the Baldwin County Beat in Lillian, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.